Even two weeks is too long. I know. <laughs> so funny. Ah, uh, perfect weather today. Not whole, hot, not cold. It's not too bad. It was really windy yesterday. That's what I heard. I heard actually like really windy here. Like, I was reading the news. Like it was crazy windy. So I got a new stand for my camera. Okay. I ordered it on Amazon, but I haven't mounted it yet. Oh, does it mount on the dash? Yeah. So, can you so I could do this. I'm a bad. <laughs> we actually need to film an intro because I haven't filmed one yet. So, what's up, guys? It's Baby Hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Miss Haley, Haley. <laughs> and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, Mom visits Vegas. <laughs> so, we're just gonna bring you guys along for our adventure this next couple of days. Come look at my art. It's so good to be home. <laughs> I love them. And I like the way that you uh, put it. The broader, larger picture in the center. Yeah. And then facing in. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then there's the one in my room. Yay! Room. <gasps> Looks so nice and tidy. Oh, that's cool. I know, right? Oh, I'm so excited for you. I love it. You did such a good job. And it's cute with the lamps. It's so cute with the lamps. It matches like perfectly. You guys, look what she's doing. She gets here and starts helping Ferb. Oh, Ferb needed some assistance. <laughs> he was fine in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Ferb needed a little TLC. Uh, so I came to say hi to him. I made a quick bagel for a snack. Thank you. Thank you. Exciting. Yay. We should go at this door. So we just got in the door. We went to Target and the grocery store. And I want to give a shout out in today's video because I met a subscriber at the grocery store, Jesse. So shout out to you, Jesse. It was so nice meeting you, and I really appreciate all your support on my videos. But at Target, I had ordered something, and it finally was ready for pickup. So open this up. perfect because it matches this one. Oh yeah. So I can have them out together. Oh that's fun. Right? No that would be perfect for the coffee table. That's what I was thinking. You guys are probably gonna laugh because this is like the third thing I've got from this collection. It's really cute though. But, right? Yeah. Check this out. It's so cute. I like the shape of it. And then when we are at the grocery store. So we're gonna have two different dinners because mom is here tonight and then well, she's- Well, we're only gonna have one tonight and one tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but so dinner tonight, we're gonna do the Pollock noodles that I made not too long ago. <laughs> she loves them and I haven't made them with her in a long time since summer, so I'm excited to make them with her. But with the Pollock noodles tonight, we're gonna do zucchini, butternut squash, or what what squash is this one? That's butternut. So why did we buy two? Oh, then what's hmm. We bought a yellow squash, a zucchini squash, and butternut squash. Oh, yellow yeah. zucchini squash. Yeah, yes. Uh-huh. And that's butternut. We got all the veggies tonight. Eventually I'll learn the name of them. <laughs> and then tomorrow we got mama yogurt, so we can have yogurt together. And then Tomorrow's dinner, we're gonna do pizzas. We love doing homemade pizzas, but we're gonna change it up this time and do pesto pizza. So we got chicken to put on the pizza, 
And then we also got cheese. So I got the Miyoko's cashew milk mozzarella. Mom got a, whoa, this almost just fell off the counter. Low moisture part skim mozzarella shredded cheese. And then I got another bag of the BioLife mozzarella shreds. So we have stuff for two dinners and we'll probably make start making our dinner for tonight soon. Yeah, I think mean, that's a good plan. We just cut up the zucchini and the yellow squash. Now mom's gonna add in the butternut squash. This usually takes longer to cook, so we like to just steam it first, and then we put them in the oven at the same time so that it will all cook and finish. At the same time. Yeah. We got the handy dandy guys. <laughs> so excited. Mm -hmm. Or, let's see, it's seven. We could watch one episode. I was gonna say, should we, sit on the, should we sit down there and eat? We could watch one episode of yeah. Little Fires Everywhere. Yeah. Guys, so the craziest thing happened. My mom honestly responds to every single one of my Instagram stories. Like, I'll <laughs> post a story and she replies to it with a heart or a message or like any emoji. Literally every story. And um, today she responded to my story before she got on the plane because I had posted a picture that I was watching Little Fires Everywhere. And uh, she what? was like, what? This is not it. Yeah, it was. No, it oh. wasn't. Just let it sit for a minute. Yeah. So she responded to my story that I was watching Little Fires Everywhere. And... She was like, I'm on episode four or five. Camilla told me to watch it. And I was like, oh my gosh. Camilla was telling me too. And I'm on episode five. And then it came to find out that we're both about to be on episode five. So How is that possible though? I know. I, mean, I, I didn't, didn't know, know you were watching, watching it. it. Okay, we both literally didn't know. <laughs> so we are going to watch episode five together, which is so fun. Like, it's so fun watching a show with someone else, and the fact that we didn't know and now can watch it together is even more exciting. It's, it is way more fun. Yeah. Okay, this is done. Check Perfect. So we have all of our roasted veggies. We honestly should have seasoned these a little bit, so we'll just have to add salt and pepper. And we got the pesto pollock noodles. Voila. Perfect. Oh, I've been dreaming about this. So, I think that's so cool that you can eat these cold, too. Yeah. Um, or do, you know, spaghetti and marinara. And... Yeah, so smart. Ready? I am so ready. I'm so excited. We got our... Looks yummy. Meal set. So, you're really on episode five? Mm-hmm. Crazy. Mmm. Good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, how weird is that that we would be on the same episode? Not even even knowing that we both started it. Yeah, it, it took me an episode or two. Me to too. Kinda... I wasn't into it for a second. And I was like, I gotta watch this for Camilla because she. That's what. Oh my gosh! No, literally, I told her she's like, give it a chance. It's so crazy. It is Bachelor time. The episode is actually already started. It's. 8.30 and Caitlin is here watching it with us too, but we're going to make cookies. So do you guys want one of each? Yes. What are the, yes. Fudgy, <laughs> there's fudgy brownie and chocolate chip cookie dough. Yes. Oh, it's called fudgy brownie and chocolate chunk. Perfect. Have I had them both? Yeah. You've had them both, two. yeah. I haven't had either. So do you want one of each? I think I need one of each. Okay, or do you guys want three or four? <laughs> I don't know. Well, yes, maybe, maybe three. Maybe I do. <laughs> maybe I do. <laughs> Yum. Just have to let the cookies cool now. Amazing. What do you think? Mm. They're just like regular. And I can have these? That I grew up yeah, they're gluten free. No way. I know, right? Listen to me, and I can have these? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I'm positive. Mmm. You want more? Thanks, Haley. You're welcome. Mm hmm. Wow, guys. 
so good. I now this is would, a party. I knew you would love them. These are so good. I'm so excited. Thank you. you I, I don't think I can ever watch The Bachelor again in my life without eating these. Like, I'll know. crave it, like, every time. Mm. It's just like, it's a, like our thing. a ritual. And where'd you find these? They're actually everywhere. The other day, I tried, because they have a sugar cookie kind mm. and an oatmeal cranberry. Mm. And I've been wanting to try the other kinds. And I had someone tell me that they got theirs at Vaughn's. And I've never been to a Vons before. Oh, they have them in California. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait for the story. So I go mm -hmm. to the Vons, right? You found a Vons? Yeah, there's a Vons here. I get there. They don't have any. But I saw that they had the fudgy brownie. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm just going to buy a pack while I'm here. They also had my yogurt. So I was like, I'll just get a pack. So I go to the register and like they're ringing it up. And I don't get the discount because I don't have a phone number. But I'm like, oh... I was like, dang it. I was like, do I want to buy it? Because I'm not saving on the discount. I go, wait, can I try a phone number? And they were like, <laughs> and they were like, uh, sure. He's like, tell me the number. I was like, okay, give me a second. I literally gave him your phone number and it worked. <laughs> wait, <what? laughs> And I got the discount. Oh my God. I was like, oh, I'm just going to try Caitlin's phone number. I know she's going to have a Vaughn number. <laughs> I'm like, this girl has a number ever. What did I pick for us today? We are going to the Lakes Fitness Trail. Because mm. there's two. This one says a moderately traffic loop located near Las Vegas. Sounds perfect. Perfect. Windy. <laughs> we had to put on some sweatshirts before we uh, left because it We've got is a little chilly, but it's been a really pretty walk. It's been a beautiful walk, but plural because we've got flannels and sweatshirts and <laughs> tank tops. So layers in the winter. But, but I'm not so complaining. Pretty. It's gorgeous. The water is so blue. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but it's crazy. Yeah, it's so blue. So we're at Home Depot right now and we're getting some spray paint to paint my um, coat rack. There was a couple people that actually commented this on some of my videos saying that I should spray paint the coat rack black because I was talking about how I don't like the wood color of it. It doesn't really match my aesthetic and I really like the coat rack. I just would much rather have it be solid black. Fine. So we're getting some spray paint. We're looking at a bare paint and primer all in one, which might be handy dandy so that we don't have to have a primer first. Yeah, this is in flat black. They also have a um, white version, but we're obviously going with the black and it's only $6 for a can of it. So that is gonna be our project. <laughs> I got newspapers. Yay. We actually got some. Check it out, we got USA Today. So we got newspaper, the spray paint, I almost forgot what this was called, and the coat rack. We got a coat rack? Let's do this. Okay, let's do it. All right, so I'll carry this. Okay, let me get the other stuff. I ran 
right trick of Google. <laughs> what did it say? If your spray paint gets clogged, you just put it upside down and you just press down for like a minute and it unclogs it. So that is super helpful. <laughs> We're doing good guys. making process but we're first just gonna cook the chicken so cut all the bad parts off <laughs> and then season it mm -hmm. and bake it yeah and i figured once we bake it then we can cut it up and have it for perfect little slices yeah we do salt and pepper and a little fresh red pepper on the slices for pizza and then the other one salt and pepper get some salt and pepper and you can utilize it for whatever you want yeah this dough is so good. Yeah. So good. So if you guys haven't tried this Simple Mills, today is the day. <laughs> Go out and get some because honestly, they've if you're probably -free, seen it so many times with the amount of times we made pizza. But, but if you're new, it. if you're new here, <laughs> it's a great almond flour crust. It really is. It tastes like a cookie. It does taste <laughs> like a cookie. Oh, you split it in two. Looks like look at that. Pretty good. Perfect. All right, so here's a ball for you. Thank Ready? you. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> oh, here's a ball for me. <laughs> it just sticks right to it. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. The rolling pin is nice. It's kind of satisfying to use too. Right? Yeah. Remember last time I was sad when I finished my last bite? I know. So I'm trying to think if I can stretch it out a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay, why don't you pesto up first? Okay, can you give me a spoon? Yeah. Voila. This is gonna be good, because we've only done pizza sauce. I know, I'm excited to try this new concoction. Oh, the timer just went off. Oh. Because we took it off. <laughs> Crust is ready. <laughs> Like 10 seconds early. Just get a spoon and just. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, see, yours is cute. I'm just doing my messy. Yours is designed. Well, mine might be harder to eat. Tomatoes? Yeah. Well, I can cut in between each. It's just gonna be random. Mozzarella. Mm -hmm. They look really good. Actually, you should do that one on, yeah, cause that one was already cooking on the bottom. Okay. Perfect. Yay. Ready? You really gonna do it? Oh, it looks pretty. It does. <laughs> Looks really good. I accidentally broiled mine a little bit too long, so this outside crust is a little done, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I want to add a little crushed red pepper to mine, too. This is fine. Okay. Where's the stuff I saw in there? This is better than tomato sauce. And you see those kids are your subject. The meat and... I don't know. Oh, I like the other one too. Yeah, it will. This crust is so good though. That's All stuff. of it. Impulsive. Yeah, this is amazing. You're even terrified. That's the point of what we're doing here. Here it is. All right, here it is. That looks good. It really does. Is it dry? 
Yeah, I mean, it's dry enough to carry up. I think if we both just carry it lightly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I'm gonna say. Do you guys love her outfit? <laughs> oh yeah, the outfit of the day. So we might have a little bit of newspaper issues. I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow when it's better lighting outside, but it honestly looks great. And we moved the vase that was over there. We're trying to just redo some decor. She's so in love with the cookies. <laughs> I literally turned into a cookie monster one night. <laughs> they are so good. And there's four chocolate chunk left. Hallelujah. Now you're delivering it to me. Thank you. I learned from the best. Mm. Ugh. It's so good. <laughs> I'm dying. It's like the pizza was so good. I know. <laughs> like so good. We all we do is just eat. Nobody would believe us because they're gonna be just like everything is just so good. <laughs> The cookies, though. Oh, so <laughs> Treat yourself. Mm-hmm. 100%. And watch Little Fires Everywhere if you haven't. Because yeah. honestly, it's getting so good. Mm -hmm. We're on episode six. And I'm obsessed with the show. Mm-hmm. So that's my update on what I think the season, or how I think the season is going. It's going great. It's going great. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really good. Mm-hmm. I guess we just finished the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was short, but I didn't know it was only eight episodes. 12.30 right now. <gasps> we should go to bed now. We but should go to bed now. Dang, that was good. I really, really just elated that I got to finish the series. That's what I was thinking. That and was I'm so really fun. happy that I got to share it with you. Yeah. Because it would have been really hard to not have the conversations with the pause and the in-between and the yeah, talking about it's it. it's nice to talk about it. Yeah, because it was so many Or moving... get clarification on like, oh wait, what? Yeah, there was so many moving parts in it. Yeah. So good. Okay, well we're... We're, we're going, going to bed. bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Good night. Good morning, you guys. We are ready for the day and I want to show you my coat rack in the daylight. It is dried so nicely. Look at that. And then I got pompous grass. I ordered Ooh, it from yeah. Etsy. So we're gonna have to try to find a spot for that. Find a home for this one. You were thinking the vase over here, right? Yeah, but the vase is this vase. Oh. So I want- take out those pretty flowers. Unless. They're kind of dying, so maybe well, I can- hey. Yeah, do you have another vase where I can cut them down and make them yeah. fresh? We could refresh the flowers and put them in this. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. And then, don't you have one more thing you want to hang? Yeah, yeah, I do. I actually, I have this babe sign. Lauren actually bought this for me. Gosh, it might have been our junior year of college for my birthday. And I had no place to hang it, but I've saved it. And so I think it would be cute to have like hanging right here. It would be so fun. Oh, it's going to be shedding. Do it on your hardwoods, not your cute carpet. Oh, these are a lot Wait, shorter that's than that's not going to fit in that vase. That needs to go in the little one that I just put all the flowers in. Time to shake some grass. <laughs> okay. Just so that they fluff up a little more. And then I can hear some too. Shake, rattle, and roll. I said shake, rattle, and roll. Good? They look way better and happier. Cute. Oh, we have lots of vacuuming to do, but that's okay. Okay, so. Still playing around with the decor, but I really love the look of this vase with the pompous grass and this knot. So I think that's kind of the aesthetic over there. And then I took the coffee table book, this Louis Vuitton one, and stuck it in here. 
I moved the bowl in the center and then put those books over there. I still need to tuck my like TV box thing behind. So the TV stand is looking a lot better. I also think we should take that blanket out okay. and just do an empty basket. And then I think I just want to order a couple more books or something for the table because I don't love the aesthetic of this, but I'm, I'm working on it. But yeah, I kind of think that that basket will look better, just a basket. Yeah, that's way better. Oh my gosh. I can just put these blankets in the closet. Perfect. Don't you think that looks better? A softer. Just a little bit more Not minimal. Great. How cute is that? That is cute. Perfect. That's really cute. We can move this. I was gonna return this waffle maker and that turned out cute. Yeah, that is really cute. Don't overthink it. It's up, it's cute, it's done. Little sign. Pretty fun. Pretty flowers. Oh yeah, we got the flowers too. You did your floral arrangement. Yeah. It looks so good. We got wraps. We're at this place called Fruits and Roots. We're so to the airport soon. We, yeah, we we're gonna take her to the airport soon. But I know so many of you have been asking so many questions about my mom. <laughs> so we're just gonna do like a mini Q and A. Uh, me. <laughs> um, and there's only like a couple questions that are mainly people have asked me, and it's well, the first one is, why did you move to Arizona? Why did I move to Arizona? The sunshine. <laughs> I have a lot of reasons why I moved to Arizona, but mainly I just wanted a lifestyle change and I wanted sunshine. Mm -hmm. I, I love Washington. I've lived there my whole life, um, but I thought it would be fun for, time for a change. I wanted to be close to you. I didn't want to be in Nevada. Uh, not that I don't like Nevada, but I could see myself in Arizona a little bit better. Just because I have friends that fly down a little more frequently. It'll be fun. It's a fun adventure. And who knows? It may not work out, but it's the hope right now to, to try it. So. Yeah. If it's not scary or if it's not a little bit uncomfortable, then it's probably not the right choice. So. Yeah, it's good to take risks in life. Right? And then the other question that people have is like, how has your move been so far? Like, what do you like best mm. about it? Or any like pros or cons that you're having? I really enjoy waking up every morning and opening my shades and there's just this beautiful sunrise that comes up uh -huh. and there's blue sky and sunny and there's warmer air and my bones and body just feel better. I yeah. just feel better. Every day I feel better. In fact, I'm still a little bit n nervous when I wake up like, oh gosh, am I going to be cold? Am I going to be 10 flannels? <laughs> Is it going to be raining? Yeah. Yeah. So that, um, I love that change. I love that change about it. I miss family and miss friends, but that's all going to come you know, fast forward. Yeah. I'm not worried too much about that because we're still able to see each other often. Though. And I think the best part too about like why Arizona is because the flight is so fast mm -hmm. for our family in Seattle. Like Jacob can come super easily. Oh, I can short, go there super flight. quick. Yeah, we're both on each side close to the airport. So yeah, that's easy. So I think the biggest overall conclusion is that She's loving Arizona. I love Arizona. <laughs> I love the outdoors. Uh, so far, everybody's been really genuine and kind. Yeah. I have never felt unsafe. I've never felt uncomfortable in the sense of like scared. Just um, a little out of my comfort zone just because it's all brand new, but that's the exciting adventure. I yeah, like. I think it's really fun. Mm -hmm. And I think it's been so fun for me too because we've gotten to spend more time together. Mm -hmm. So. I'm really happy that she moved. I know, this is a 45 She's really minute happy. flight. Like, it was nothing. And it's a four-hour yeah. little four-hour four hour drive. Yeah, so, so, so far, I think So that far, so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, we were just laughing too much. I love you. I love you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It was so it's fun. always fun with you. I know. Okay. So fun. It won't be long until next time. It won't. Nope. Okay guys, we're gonna close out the video here, but I hope you all enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Bye guys! guys.